I am back. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're going on to step four. I've taken you through three steps, so if you haven't seen the other video, definitely check them out. Step one, picking the right division. Step two, going ahead and using some strategy. Step three, playing the right game mode. So here's step four, and this is the process I go through in order to become a beast. So now I'm going to test the waters out. Yes, I'm going to use a little strategy, and I'm going to camp, and I'm going to hold areas down. Now let if you're new to the channel, when I say camp, I'm not talking about sitting in no corner. I'm talking about doing everything with a purpose. I more or less take over an area. I decide, okay, I'm going to lock this down and I'm going to lay them down. Now, what I do on this map, in case you guys, I'm going to give you a little strategy, what I've been using on this map that I find to be successful. I like to flip. I like to go from A to C. I stay away from B. B is deadly. So a lot of times I find myself trying to work myself around to the other side. Now, I'm going to let you guys know I'm partied up in this game. I know one guy and he had a couple friends with him. And, you know, so we're able to go ahead and kind of communicate and take over. Now, let me be clear. Some of the guys are really good. Some, they're okay. But we're also playing as a team. But the strategy I'm using, I'm finding I've been successful with it. Even playing solo bolo. Look, I'm go ahead and put this trip mine down. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this setup. I'm using what the... um. This is the Type 100. I believe I got extended mags and um, quick draw on here. And I'm running with the um, S S44 mines, whatever they're called. I keep wanting to call them a trip mine. The reason I run with that is because I can replenish them because I got the um, the division where you can replenish. Uh, what's it called? Expend. I don't even know how to say it. So I've maxed it out, and so I'm able to replenish. And so what happens is I'm able to kill people and keep putting those cryo mines down. They protect your back. I put them through lanes. I put them on the flag. And then when I get my first kill, look at that guy. He had bad aim. Once I get my first kill and I kill someone else, I, I lock lanes down with them. So if you notice, I got the left side of the map locked. So I got that under control. I'm not even worried about someone coming that way. If they do come that way, even if they get past, it gives me a hit marker. It lets me know they're coming. Now, right now, I'm kind of running support off my teammate. Now, I stopped here because I saw that guy over to the right. So what you're going to see is I do a lot of stuff. And that's only because the sound is great in this video. Like I said, Camper Nation is all about controlling and patrolling, controlling and patrolling, but also to playing smart. Like I'm not going to sit up in no corner. I'm taking my time. I'm listening and I'm picking people off. The whole goal is to go ahead and get into our score streaks. I wanted to make sure I had a good secondary. Now, here's the thing I don't do. I don't advise like necessarily just like let's camp in the obvious. Everybody comes in this window. Well, guess what? A lot of times you get snipers, they're, all they're doing is looking up in the window to take you out. You got people that know how to throw grenades from all the way across the map and get right into this room. So a lot of times when I stop I stop here, it's just for a momentary um, defense. Like right now I'm looking at the way my teams are positioned. We, we got people on B. Once again, remember I got that lane locked down over there on the left. And I'm kind of trying to get some kills. Now this isn't, oh see look at that. He almost got me with a grenade from all the way across the map probably. That's what they do. These people figure out how to throw these grenades, and you can't be mad at them. You should probably go in practice mode and try it yourself. And right now, I'm just holding it down. The whole object of what I'm doing is to get into my score streaks. Now, once I unlock the ball gunner, I think it's going to be gone. Guess what? The night night machine is back. That ball gunner is nasty. I played with it a few times. And that carpet bombing run, I'm going to tell you, I've, I've done this. I was playing hardcore. I think I took out both teams. I've never seen a kill feed that long. And I got put in a timeout. At least they didn't kick me out the game. Maybe I'll find that clip and um, show you guys that. But that carpet um, bombing run on hardcore makes no sense. You can't control it. But yet, it goes wherever it wants and it kills your teammates. But anyway, so you got to be careful on hardcore. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the mini map. Here's the thing. I know I was sitting there for a minute, but I was looking at my teammates and like, see, I can hear them. Look, look, I'm not in the corner. I'm just avoiding your steps. <laughs> And so that's all I was doing. I was playing smart and I was listening to these guys. Now, my mentality is let's try to work your way back over to A. But sometimes when I start encountering people like this, you know what? I'll say forget it. The block is hot because if I don't see my other teammates engaging, a lot of times I know, well, more like more than likely they're going to keep coming that way. And also, too, like I said, the sound is so great on this game. See, I, I could hear him. I thought that was maybe the bad guy, but it was my teammate. Now, the only reason I'm being a little careful is because they got B. I was waiting for some people to kind of spawn over here on this side to let me know they're still over here. If not, see here, that's what I'm talking about. I can hear this guy a mile away. They set off your trip mine. Look, look through the wall. See, he set my trip mine off. I know he's coming. I'm not in no corner. I hear you. What am I supposed to do? Run around and try to face you? Hey, man, let's go man to man. Man, oh, man, oh. Shoot me in the face. No, I'm going to get that advantage. And the advantage I have right now is a great headset. 
and her sound, a uh, game with great sound. And look at this. So I got the glide bomb. I got the care package. Look, I was able to get into my score streaks with very little effort. And all I'm doing is basically patrolling this back. I wanted to go ahead and ooh, splash. Go ahead and flip over to the other side. But if it wasn't open for me, it wasn't open for me. Look, I still got my trip mine there. I got one in that room right now. And now I'm kind of creeping. Look I, look, I just go throw it in there, but I decided to go this way since my teammate was going to go that way. Do a little preemptive strike. And what I'm doing now is I'm giving support to my teammates. I'm actually playing more supporting right now. The reason being is because I haven't unlocked the beast kill streaks. I'm going to tell you, it's going to make a difference. I'm going to show you I'm making a difference once I unlock it. But right now, guess what? I'm being a little more supportive. And look, see, I can hear him coming this direction. And that's why I turned around. I'm not just doing this off the strength of turning. I can hear the guy a mile away. Now, I'm in a party, and people are talking, and I'm still able to hear. Look, see, look, ooh, laid him down for the halftime. Look at that. First half, flawless, 9-0, just using some very, very strategic camping techniques and using my intelligence and my brain. But on the right, like now, using the right class setup is also important. I haven't unlocked a gun I want to unlock yet. I haven't quite reached. I got to reach uh, 52. And I'm going to tell you guys. You guys like, what is the gun? Everybody should know by now. That bar is nasty. That bar gun is nasty. I hope they don't nerf it too much. But it just has very low recoil. And that's what I like. I like guns with very limited recoil. And that way I don't have to put a foregrip on there. Which allows me to put other perks that can actually, actually you know, make the gun that much more important. And I know there's some YouTubers who here. Let me flip that. Carpet bombing. Look at this. Oh, I love this carpet bombing. This thing is nasty. So I get one of the high score streaks for free. That's what it's all about. I'm telling you, this care package, I think I'm going to keep running with this care package. I, I like the glide bomb. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may switch up the carpet package. I mean, the carpet, the care package. Oh, look at that. That's two. The care package and the glide bomb may be interchangeable because I'm definitely probably going to go with the paratroopers and the ball gunner once it's all said and done. I'm probably going to have one low score streak and then two just super high score streaks. Now, once again, I am running support. I see my two teammates there. I look at the mini map, look to the far right. So they're locking that lane down. I got a trip mine on A in case somebody wants to be slick. And this is what you call holding it down. Look at that. These guys. Oh, another the carpet bombing. That's two people. And guess what? It's going to get two more. And look, I can kind of step back. I think I can hear someone in this area. And that's, look, see, they're taking A. And look, I'm on a ruthless. That's 15. Look, I can hear them all the way across the map. But I knew they were on this side. They weren't even close to me yet. Man, I'm loving the sound in this game. It reminds me kind of of Ghost. And the only reason I'm chilling back is because somebody keeps pushing A. Look, my teammate, he was AFK kind of far to the right. I don't know if he's camping or if he's AFK. Oh, look at that. A supply package. I swear you're not supposed to get us. Oh, maybe I got it from the carpet bomb. I don't know where I got it, but you're not supposed to get a supply, a resupply, unless you actually kill them with your gun. You can't get them with explosive, but somehow there's one there. I'm not going to complain. And I'm going to go ahead and work my way back to B. Look, we're, we're up 134 to 106. This is one of the routes people like to come sometime. That's why I was laying there and I was waiting for my teammate. Look, he pushes up and now um, move up too. I'm kind of just chilling right here because I'm looking at the map, the position of the map. Uh, this is how you hold this area down. If your teammates are there, you just got to watch that. I got to trip mine over an A, and then I would have to watch this spot. Now, some people creep up through here, and they'll shoot you if you're in that window. They'll kind of get here. This is one of the spots. They'll just kind of catch you when you're slipping on your pimping and lay you down. But once again, look how my teammates done pushed up. Now, here's a crazy thing. I didn't completely push up with them. You know why? Because I don't want to flip the spawn. Sometimes this is what you call anchoring. My teammates will push up, and I feel like they're going up a little too far. I'll hold back, and I'll keep forcing the people to spawn over at the C flag. And this is how I hold them at A. Like I said, right now, we are locking them down. There's no problem. I'm just trying to get into that pair of troopers. Look, I'm 950 out of 1,100. Also, too, I'm running ordnance. And in case you guys were wondering, ordnance that definitely helped me get into my score streaks quicker and lowers them. And so that's what I am doing. And look, I'm backing up because I think I hear somebody. And look, my teammates back there now. I'm watching the spawn. Now I'm going to move back forward. I am patrolling this area. I'm holding it down. Look, my teammates died. But you know what? I got your back. There's no B for them. I'm chilling back. Even if he jumps on B, he can't see me. I could dip out. See, look, look, look. Come around that corner when you come. <laughs> I'm really close, y'all. I'm only 50 off these paratroopers. Let's see if they go in on core mode remember they went in on hardcore mode and look little seconds to the rescue <laughs> let's get these paratroopers all i'm doing is patrolling this area once again i you know i got the trip mine over on a i wanted to see what the score would be like look at the paratrooper there they go look we're up 174 to 126 i am not worried about losing i'm totally playing supporty look my teammates are there and i'm actually over their shoulders 
Don't just irritate you when you kill someone and there's one person behind them. I'm kind of doing that. So I'm letting, ooh, look at that, trying to bomb me. I'm letting them hold that. And then if the people push through and then I go ahead and lay them down. Look, see, they're going, they're going up. Up, another one. Look, he's doing the jumping scuff jump. You know what? But get laid down. And look at that. I am on a relentless. I'm on a 20 right now. My paratroopers are going in. Look at that. That's three, four, five kills. They're laying people down. That's what you want paratroopers troopers to do. It's the 2017 dogs, you know? And look, I'm going to go ahead and push up, get the scavenger pack. Now, I could run up and try to get more kills and, you know, kind of go over there with my team and be greedy with kills. But right now, it's all about patience. I mean, that's something we've been preaching for years, you guys. Just be patient. Take your time. Figure out the map. Now, once you figure these things out, you want to push a little harder? By all means, push a little harder. But right now, I'm just chilling back. The score is 198 to 138. We're about to get this easy win. Ain't no sense for me to push up. I'm just going to guard this in case they want to step out. And that, you guys, is a flawless game. I went 23-0. and 0. I was patrolling the areas, just taking my time. I know I'm not the top of the leaderboards, but it's coming. Like I said, we're going from a noob to a beast. That's the whole point of this series. All right, you guys, I am out. Be ready for the next video because it's dropping soon. Let's go.